I love using Inkscape. It's easy, it's free, it's fun. And there's a filters option right up here. And there's a whole bunch of different options. And I'm gonna walk through a couple of them that are my favorite in this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just create a shape. So over on the left-hand side, I'll just pick the little square button there. It says create rectangles and squares. And I'm gonna make a square. And you can pick whatever color you want down below. I'm just gonna pick like say a red color. And then I'm gonna to go to filters. And I'm going to go to fill and transparency. And then you can see there's a whole bunch of different ones here. And if I do, for example, silhouette, It'll just open up the color palette and I can then just pick whatever color I want. So for example, black, I'll click apply and it just simply changes the color. So some of these filters are kind of rinky dink because you could just do that manually by clicking the stroke button and the fill button down below. But some of the filters are really cool. So for example, there's a bevels filter and as I scroll on down here, I can see there's one called fat oil. And when I click on that, it radically changes the way the shape looks. So not all of these filters are just other things you can do in Inkscape. Some of them are actually really neat and it would take quite a while to manually make them happen. There's image effects as well, like film grain, and that would change the way this looks. I'm gonna zoom in on that so you can see it a bit better. You can see there's an actual filter that has created like a grain on top of the image. So that's pretty neat as well. I'll delete out my shape and I'll just pick another one here. I'll pick a circle and I'll draw a circle here or an oval and I'll make it a different color here. Let's do a lighter color. Now I'm gonna to go to filters and I'm gonna do overlays. You can see there's a ton of different overlays here. I'm gonna click clouds. And we can see there, I'm gonna change the color to make it a bit darker. It actually puts clouds right on top of the shape. So this is a very easy way for you to make some sort of a design if you're making a t-shirt graphic or even a digital design and you wanna have some extra layer in there. Uh, it's really kinda of easy to do. Now where filters really shines in my opinion is with photographs. So here's an old famous photograph of Iwo Jima. And when I go up to the filters option, I'm gonna to go to image, paint and draw. And these are really neat for photographs. So for example, you can do something simple like old postcard. And that'll simply change the background hue in most cases. I'll click on do, or you can do something really dramatic. So I go into image, paint and draw, and I go down here to poster draw. And when that happens, it gives me a really cool outline, psychedelic poster. You could easily create black light designs or some sort of psychedelic poster with that. Perhaps my favorite one for photographs is under filters, image, paint, and draw, and it's simply drawing. And when I click on drawing, I'm gonna get another little box that opens up. Now you can click the live preview down at the bottom and that'll radically change the way this looks. You could make something look like an engraving, for example, and there's lots of different options that will change the way this looks. So certainly play around with it because of course each photograph is different. And as a result, you may get different outputs. I think this would look really nice if you were creating some sort of a propaganda poster, uh, really neat. Now again, you can always click edit undo and that just und undoes it. Or if you don't click apply, it'll just revert back to the original. Now you can also create a photo negative. So here with my old photograph, I'm gonna click filters, color, and then I'm gonna go to invert. Now a little sub menu is gonna pop up. You wanna make sure you have your object selected. And then I've got invert lightness selected and then I'll click live preview. And we can see that dramatically changes the way this looks. It makes it look like a photo negative. So that can be a really nice feature as well. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I would recommend going into filters, picking an image and simply going through every single one of these and seeing how they look. Some of them are gonna look not so great and some of them are gonna look radically amazing where you're gonna go, wow, this is gonna change the way that I can make designs very easily and quickly. Yet another feature buried inside of Inkscape. There's a ton of filters in here. Enjoy. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your creative skills using Inkscape.